friends, my name is Jonas. I'm the author of Your Thought is Your Wealth, Seven Keys to Unlock Your Hidden Treasures. When I was school many years ago, my desire and my dream was to go to university. But my dad and my mom were passing through a very difficult time. And they made it clear to me that it was impossible for me to go to university. I looked, I cried, and I moved on with my life. And I kept going on with motivation, keep motivating myself each day with strong determination, believing that one day God will help me and my dream will come true. And along the line, I went in and did a bit of a diploma in IT. And that wasn't the real thing. I was still hoping, believing that one day my dream would come true. And after 24 years of waiting, believing, hoping, in England, I finally got admission to study at the university. 24 years of waiting, 24 years of believing. And I have a question for you. What are you tripping for? How long have you been waiting for something and you want to give up? No, your time will come. It came for me for 24 years. And then the first year at university, I was so excited and everything like this thing that I have waited for many years. My time has finally come. And I met a, a lecturer who was, you know, very beautiful, mature lady. She could stand up and tell us all the 206 bones in the body were just like that because I was studying medical imaging. And one day I asked her, what are you going to do after? She smiled at me and said, Jonas, next year I'm retiring and I'll be you know, spending more time with my grandchildren and everything, and we have the mortgage paid for. And I smiled back at her. But inside me, I said, this is a tragedy. Because all this knowledge and skills that my lecturer had is just going to be wasted once she retires. And that is one thing I have been thinking about. How can we solve this problem? And that is why I have designed a program that will make you to monetize and immortalize your skills. Jonas, we're going to pause you there. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, gorgeous. Gosh, I love hearing these stories. You guys are amazing. All right, over to the master himself. Let's uh, let's see what the feedback is. Take it away, Mr. Les. Jonas, I, I think that, that it's very good. What, what I'd like for you to also look at the the role that this play, this person played that and I didn't hear enough about her. So let me just take it where up to where I heard it. Is that okay? All right. My name is Jonas. I want you to think about your goals and dreams. And as you think about them, here's what I know. And you have goals and dreams many times. People who should be there to encourage you will not be there. My mom and dad, I, I thought they would encourage me to go for it, but they did not. And I, I'm saying to you, and, and, and I want you to write this down, jump out of line. I could have gone along with what they thought and the expectations they had for me, but I decided to step out of line and to go for my dream, to do that which I wanted. It took me a long time. See, here's something I know, and I want you to write this down. You will fail your way to success. I had disappointments. I had things get in the way, but I didn't give up. Be persistent. Og Mandino said, persist until you succeed. you got to jump out of line, and you have to have optimism. When you are optimistic, you look for ways to win in spite of the obstacles. And the next thing is, the N in my name stands for never give up. I saw this lecturer, she had so much 
potential beyond her retirement years, and she was going to retire. And all I could think about, hmm, sister, don't do that. Rob the cemetery of the gifts that you still have in you. Most people died age 25 and don't get buried until they're 65. She'd served for a long time, but you know what? She had more in her to give. She was stopping prematurely. I'm encouraging you, jump out of line. Decide that you're gonna live beyond your comfort zone. Have a spirit of optimism. Go after your dream in spite of the obstacles and the things that are thrown in front of you because you are greater than your adversities. And never give up on yourself and continue to live full and to die empty. My name is Jonas. You have something special. You have greatness in you. That's my story. I'm sticking.